All right, dating six girls based on their ASMR. I don't hate ASMR. I just don't really get it. I don't get it. It doesn't do anything to me. It just it's kind of annoying. So I don't really understand when people are like, oh my god, I love it. Oh, it gives my brain a little orgasm. I'm like, how? That sounds awesome. I wish I had that power. I need like physical friction for that. I gotta rub and tug on my stuff to reach an O. But people are like, oh no, it's a little brain gasm. <laughs> so that's crazy. Anyways, dating six girls based on their ASMR. This is from Jubilee, of course. You know and love them, as do I. We asked Jorge to speed date six women based on their ASMR abilities. Got it, okay. So maybe he likes it, and he's like, I need a girl who can do it, so I can reach O. <laughs> My name is uh, Jorge Perez. I'm 21 years old. I'm single as all hell. Do you like ASMR? I, I, love, I love ASMR. I've been an ASMR fan since I discovered what it was back in like 2011. Describes a feeling of euphoric tingling orgasm and relaxation that can come over someone when he or she watches certain videos or hears certain sounds in like 2011 like i literally cannot fall asleep without you somewhere and what are you expecting from today uh get some some bomb tingles i guess bomb tingles <laughs> bomb tingles that's the perfect phrase for it bomb tingles i just sound like a dude that makes christmas music bomb tingles <laughs> If I were to meet somebody today, you know, that'd be even better. Are they like- be But then she's gonna have to ASMR you every night to sleep? Is that what the deal is then? People can't sleep. Come on, can you do the thing? Can you do the thing? <sighs> Fine. Fucking sure. Jorge will speed date each of the women. His top three choices will get to do an ASMR performance. We'll have the privilege of doing an ASMR performance for this man. Hi. Um, this oh, then he has to speed date them also in ASMR? This is fucking good. This is me, Candies. Can I talk regularly? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great ASMR name, isn't it? Candies. My ideal first date would probably be something like on the beach with like a sunset, some good food, maybe a little wine for feeling like snazzy. Shh. Shh. Hi, my name's Simani. I don't know how I sound whispering, but kind of love that. Um, yeah. My ideal first date. Oh, headphone warning! Jesus Christ! It would be something really fun, like. Six flags or something. Like smoke, I smoke. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marina or Marina. Okay. She's she's got a good ASMR voice. I don't know how I know that, but I got I kinda got some bomb tingles there for a second. I definitely got a little bit like a miniature bomb tingle. A mini bomb ting. Or talk to you. Nice to talk <laughs> to you too, Marina. I would say it. I'm looking for a bomb ting to give me some bomb tingles. <laughs> Ideal first date would definitely be like an escape room because I really love puzzles or maybe like some kind of VR experience and then maybe like some drinks after just to kind of end the night. I gotta say escape rooms are fun and you definitely know like that's I mean I think it's a horrible first date idea but it would definitely it would make things very clear off the jump whether you two are compatible or not because it's a high stress situation which again first date weird but if you're like looking for efficiency yeah, go into an escape room and be like, fucking solve this shit, Jorge. Let me see your problem solving skills off the jump. I'm looking to get married. Yeah, I think my ideal first date would be like an escape room and then we would could we maybe could go like build some Ikea furniture. I could see like how good you are at doing that. Hi, I'm Celine. <clears throat> That's fucking not very good. Isn't that like the one no-no? That has to be one of the only ASMR no-nos. It's like, don't be loud and don't fucking cough. Hi. My name's Cody, and I- <coughs> oh, Sorry. Oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry. Fucking hairball, sorry about that. I'd like to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. 
an absolutely wonderful service. Now, you ever thought, I'd like to make a website? You ever had that thought? Gee, I'd like to spin up a website one of these days. I know all of you have. Guess what? With Squarespace, you can be the person that has a website. I'm serious. What do you want? An online store? You want to sell merch? You want to show off your portfolio of video content? Squarespace can do all of that and more. Uh, oh, gee, I'm a woodworker that makes spice racks. Wish I could sell these online. Boom! Squarespace has got you covered. Doesn't matter whether you sell physical things, digital things, service products, Squarespace has all the tools you need to start selling stuff online. And Squarespace can handle production, inventory, and shipping all for you, saving you time and money so you can just focus on selling stuff, which means you can create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales with your brand so you can focus on what really matters. The brand. My brand. My brand. That's what you need to be focusing on. My brand. Anyways, it's a wonderful service. So if you're interested in learning more and helping out this channel, then you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Co to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you again to Squarespace. Check them out. Back to the video. A really fun first date would be like going to like roller disco and then maybe after get some frozen yogurt. Um, <clears throat> maybe for our first date, you could bring like food of your choice and then I can bring like a drink and we can have like a nice little picnic. I don't know, get some like ice cream or boba after. <laughs> oh, this girl knows what she's doing. She know, and she sparked something. You could tell he got, he, he got some BTs right there. You could tell. That was some BTs. He, she was shuddering. He was like, whoa, huh. He was getting some PTs, if you know what I'm saying. How are you? Yeah, I, f I feel like super relaxed now. I feel very comfortable. Because of my voice? Yeah. <laughs> God damn, you're like... <laughs> <clears throat> What's up? Sorry, are we done? Uh, your voice definitely does help. My ideal first date. I really love food. I'm a lift to eat person. But I think that going grocery shopping is a really great like introduction. Just like a good conversation happens in the grocery stores. Thank you for your time. <laughs> did, I admit, did I miss it? Did I miss it? Grocery shopping. That's that's another kind of escape roomy date, isn't it? I'm just gonna see how good you are at errands. I wanna know what this thing's gonna be like four years down the road, right off the jump. Oh my goodness. Um I'm gonna go ahead and say bye to Candice and two and four. I'm so sorry. I don't even want to look. I'm like, I'm ashamed. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. When I mentioned smoking, it was a little bit, yeah. But you know, it's okay, it's okay. You're killing me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he was cute. I just wish he was more assertive. Assertive? <laughs> you wish he was like, yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> Later, I'm Totally cool with my decision, especially after seeing you. Is that what you wish? Oh my gosh, you're so, I'm so sorry. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm a Pisces, so I get it, so. What? What is that? How could he have possibly, what does that have anything to do with the fact that he re just rejected you? Did you say anything about Pisces? It's all good. All right, let's go. Here, <clears throat> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get in this with them. I really wanna see what this is like. I'm strapped and ready for some bomb tings. It makes me feel weird. I don't like the feeling. I don't like it. Now we're gonna take a deep breath in. Ready? Do it with me. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath out. <laughs> oh, ah! Oh, oh, don't say moist. Do not say moist. Don't whisper moist. Probably the worst word she could have picked. Why did that just, that had to hit my fucking spine. Moist. Yeah, 
Yeah, nothing more relaxing than fucking plastics. Nothing more relaxing than a gentle reminder of how many microplastics we've ingested in our time on Earth. Just imagine the cool mask on your face as you're rubbing in the serum from the mask. I'm gonna go ahead and brush your hair, okay? You're relaxing. And all... This girl's experienced. She knows. She definitely knows what she's doing. Did they pick ASMR artists? Did they pick a bunch of ASM artists for this? Because I feel like if they pick someone who didn't know what they were doing, they'd be like, um, I fucking think I have a think I have a receipt on me. Maybe that would be good. Imagine you're in paradise on the beach, but the chair that you're using, it's an IKEA chair and it hasn't been built yet. And these are the instructions and you have to figure out what pieces go where. IKEA furniture ASMR. That's so funny. Sounds so stressful. All you can think about is being on that job, the cold beach. Listening to the waves crash as I brush your hair. I feel like a horse and she's brushing my mane. <laughs> That, that was amazing. Fully reached climax on that. Fully. Hi, Ori. It's me, Garris. I brought some of my favorite items, and maybe you can guess what they are. The first item is one of my favorite hobbies. I don't like the stereoness of it. I don't like that she's here and then she's here. That kind of stresses me out. Like it feels unbalanced, even though that's kind of how we hear it just in general. But like, it feels like it's like, ah, fuck it, ah, fuck it, ah. That, <laughs> I have zero clue what that is. It sounds like sand, like scraping sand. That's like the weirdest description. Roller skate. It, it did sound kind of like something like like rolling, but that's not what I was gonna guess at all. I'll do my second sound. Ah! I feel like I got shot. I feel like that was pretty obvious. That sounded like <laughs> like an airsoft gun going off. He turns around. She's like, "It is." Pick me! Drill or something? Like like a nail gun? But you can like see things through it. You can see things through it. And then you can like freeze what you see. It's an analog film camera. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, <laughs> oh, was <laughs> laughing in ASMR is so funny. <laughs> Thank you for having the patience with me. I appreciate it. Guess who it is? You're back. What's my name? It starts with a K, right? It starts with a K and ends with Kristen. Okay, Kristen. Hi. Hi, Ori. <laughs> He's like, K... Caitlin Riston? No, no, no. That sounds like distant gunfire. So I really like peanuts, peanut butter, all them nuts, not in a sexual way. <laughs> um, so we have a rice crisp with peanut chunks, original flavor. Chunk is another bad word. Chunk and moist. Why are these people picking such bad words to say? I really love this peanut bar. It's chunky and moist. <laughs> Packed with moist chunks. I've been hungry this whole shoot, and now it's just like hitting me even more. Up next, we have more peanuts. Have you ever had Japanese peanuts? It, is it a coincidence that she's saying peanuts so many times and it sounds like penis? Why are we picking these words? I don't think I've ever had Japanese peanuts, though. No. Well, you're in for a ride, Jorge.
that was pretty good. He's like, I made that same sound in my pants. <laughs> Let's just say I also busted a nut. <laughs> I mean, yes. Is that your molar? <laughs> so this is the sound of my film camera. So I'm gonna take a film photo right now. And maybe in a few weeks after these get developed, you can see. <laughs> that was nice. I like that they actually had the photos in there. I have a fidget little guy. She seems like she's kind of just winging it. The first girl seemed like she knew what the fuck she was doing. That was a performance. This is kind of just like throwing shit at the wall, you know? The last two girls. I hope you said liked, commented, and subscribed, and turned on the post notification the to Jubilee as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do I get to keep your house key? I mean, the last girl definitely won. She was definitely the most charming. He's too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cans are coming off. No! Yeah, I would subscribe to each and every one of your channels. Oh, boy. This is tough. My hands are so sweaty. If you guys could feel my hands. You guys would have like a towel or like a, a wet wipe. I'm going to choose the girl. He's like, I'm physically exhausted. I don't think I can, I don't think I can tingle anymore. I'm tingled out. I feel like immediately I was kind of like, yeah, I, 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 I like her voice. And uh, I think she made me laugh the most too. I'm going to go with, I'm going to choose contestant number six, Kristen, as my final choice. Told you. From the moment Kristen went up, I, I kind of just like, Kept her in the back of my mind, like keeping like an ear out for, not an eye out, but an ear out. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Hi. <laughs> Honestly, if I was in Jorge's position, I would have chosen her. <laughs> the type of ASMR I listened to was like slime and the um the soap. Oh, I love the soap videos. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Soap videos. This is the whole thing, isn't it? If I search this, it's just gonna be all over my fucking recommended now. Oh fuck! Marina, like they were putting in work, and I was just <laughs> making him guess like what my favorite items are. I don't want to look. I'm like, like. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so <laughs> lovely. Hi. Thank you for the ASMR. Was this helpful for you? It was extremely helpful. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, I'm Jorge. I'm Kristen. These are the Japanese pizza Oh, the nuts. Japanese nuts. Half of my rice crisps. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll take that. It. it looks very good. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised, yeah, I think she's like really pretty. Yeah, from the back I was like, hmm, very nice back. Very muscular arms. Do you want to do some ASMR for Kristen? Oh God, Ooh, let's see you Can I sit on the chair now? Oh, his turn. Okay, let's see what he's got. Oh my God, this is extremely nerve wracking because uh, Okay, I've, I've always wanted to do this low key. I don't even know how loud I should be whispering. I can see you're already laughing, so that's, that's a good sign. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your boy, ASMR. Or hey, here we have Kristen in the hot seat today, and we're gonna do some ASMR for her. I'm going to uh, brush your face now, Kristen. Brushing the mic. It's good. It's good. That's good. I mean, I don't. I didn't get any bomb tings from it, but I see why that would be effective. <laughs> I fucking feel like a horse. That makes me feel like a fucking animal. Getting brushed. Someone brushing my face with a brush like that. That's a coarse brush. I feel like a domesticated steed when that happens. I don't know if you yourself get ASMR or tingles or anything like that. Uh, but hopefully after this, you might. I don't know what's, what's going to happen. But here you go. 
That was great. That was charming. Very charming. Kristen wiped the floor completely with her opponents. Never seen someone look so miserable watching their opponent eat nuts. The defeat in their eyes is evident. This must be the most subtly brutal episode of Jubilee out there. I think, I don't think it's that serious. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why are you making it, why are you making it sound like a UFC fight? All right, well, that's it. That's it for, that's it for today's. Please press like if you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta rub and tug on my stuff to reach an O. Hold it down till the till the club is closed. I'm supposed to 